So in this session, I'd like to get a little bit more technical and cover one of the new features in SAP Business One version 9.2, patch level four. Now, in one of our recent blogs on the Leverage Business One site, um, Ansel Van Heerden, one of our consultants, has covered this topic in a blog. So what I thought I'd do is I'd create this video for you as well to, to show you exactly how this functionality works. So this is the ability to create a new type of user-defined table. So let's go in and take a look at it. So if I go into Tools, and I go into my Customization Tools, and I go in here to create a user-defined table. So I'll call this Demo Table 1, and I'm making it my Demonstration Table. And then I select here my Object Type. And you'll see this new option here, No Object with Auto Increment. So if I select that, and I say Update, you'll see it now creates that new demonstration table. Now, um, what does this actually do? If I go in and I'll uh, say OK, and I now go in here to my tools, and I go to my user-defined windows, and you'll see there's my demo table. So what the system now does is it automatically creates an incrementing unique ID for you. So if I create record one, and then I update that, and I create record two, and I update that, you'll see what the system's automatically doing is it's grabbing um, a unique ID. Now in the past, before this type of uh, user-defined table was available, you used to have to write a whole bunch of code to um, set a unique ID and then increment it by one and automatically update all of that. So now you no longer uh, have to do that. So a nice little bit of additional functionality that's available for you inside SAP Business One version 9.2, patch level four. Remember, if you've got any additional questions about SAP Business One, please feel free to reach out to me, Richard Duffy, or contact the team at Leverage Technologies on 1300 045 046, or visit at www.leveragebusinessone.com.au. Thanks very much.